Mm -hmm. Like to rise and salute the flag, please. <clears throat> Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for coming to this meeting. Thank you for coming Just before we begin, um, I would like to take a moment for all of us to reflect on all of those who are working so hard for all of us to bring peace to our troubled world and to bring health to our precious environment. Thank you. Mark D'Agostino. Here. Thomas Dewhurst. Absent. Chris Flynn. Here. Johanna Schaefer. Here. Virginia Stern. Here. All right. The first thing on the agenda is uh, the abstracts. Uh, there's a general abstract and a planning board escrow abstract. Six and six P. Make a motion that we approve the two abstracts, abstract number six and abstract number six P. Second. Right. Anybody have any comments they'd like to make? All right. All those in favor? Uh, the next thing is the uh, minutes of May 13th and May 26th. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve one and then the other, and if there are any comments, you can make them. Uh, I make a motion we approve the minutes of May 13, 2010. Rita, did you get the, where are we getting the updated minutes? May 13. No, no, I did not give you updated ones, but they're on the website. I'll put a copy in your box tomorrow. Is there a second? Second. Is there any any discussion or any corrections for the May 13 minutes? Okay. Well, I, I haven't seen them, so I'm going to abstain. Well, from them. I haven't seen the updated minutes. Uh, we can still vote. All right. All those in favor? And one abstention. I make a motion we accept the minutes uh, of May 26, 2010. Is there any, se any second? second? Thank you, Chris. Uh, any comments on them? I was at that meeting, so I have to abstain on that one, too. Have you had a chance to read them, yes, Chris? I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, did you say you're reading them now? No. Okay. All those in favor? <laughs> and one abstention. Um, the liaison reports? I worked nights, I didn't go to the meeting. Okay. And uh, there was no meet, uh, minutes yet, so. All right. Um, Mark? Um, okay. <clears throat> uh, for the Recreation Commission, um, Sue had made some updates to the rec brochure and emailed to uh, read it, and I think we had talked a little bit about that on Monday at the workshop. Um, that was, I was going to help Rita with the uh, with the recreation stuff. And, and, and I know she's I know she's very busy. Um, baseball opening day. Uh, Jackie Reynolds did a nice job with the dedication of the Aaron Shanley Field. There was approximately 300 people in attendance. Um, there was some problems with the water in the bathrooms, but uh, Jeff Blouse had, um, had uh, fixed it, uh, as I understand, just in time. So, um, <coughs> Recreation registration had started. Uh, people on the commission uh, had spent three different days up at Town Hall registering the kids. <coughs> Summer prep for the rec park. 
uh, the pond will be drained May 25th, and we have the chlorine bids and things that we talked about at the workshop on Monday. Summer employment, the interviews have been completed and the decisions um, have, have not been made yet, but will be made shortly. Um, Frankenstein's Fortress, uh, the Hudson Valley Guide, it's in the Hudson Valley Guide uh, in an advertisement that uh, um, is, it should be out, should be out in June. And the Master Plan Committee has a meeting Tuesday the 15th. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Johanna? Fire commissioners met on 518. They need five pagers, uh, receiving, having received reimbursement for two that were lost. They're going to get the pagers for the new members. They are doing some uh, driveway work and roof work. They opened both bids um, that evening and uh, did not go with the prevailing wage on the roof bid because it was an emergency job, and they don't have to do that for that. The Millis Lane meeting was scheduled for June 1st at 10, but was canceled after at my request. The chief reported 11 fire calls, two motor vehicle accidents, and 12 EMS calls. They have a lot of new members who are doing very well. They're participating. Their training occurred in the past weekend, and they were very helpful. Um, they're an excellent class with the hands-on, and we're delighted to have some additional members to the, the squad. And they need three new sets of gear for their volunteers, and they passed uh, purchasing those sets of gear. Uh, on the planning board, the library um, approached the board for a preliminary questioning uh, regarding uh, the building of the new library across from the <coughs> pharmacy. And there was a question about whether or not, I'm going to have trouble with that road. What is the name of that road? NOLA? Noller. Noller. Noller Road Noller. was public Noller or Road. not was a town road because they need to use Noller Road for access to additional parking and I looked that up for them and it is a public road and they will be able to use that without having to get any special permission. They will be approaching the town about some issues in the future. Um, Divianand is still under discussion. That is the um, meditation center on Creamery Road and there were some concerns about traffic and we were assured that there will only be an additional four cars since there are a limited number of people who can attend those um, meetings at the center. That's it. Okay. Um, I have a few things that I think would be interesting for uh, the town to know. We received our half year mortgage tax check, tax check from the county. It was $56,355.99. <laughs> I always wonder about those cents on, on, the, on these things. Um, last year, we budgeted for 2010 as expected mortgage tax revenue, $125,000. Uh, typically, the second mortgage payment, there are two a year. The second one, which comes uh, at the end of the year, is a little than the first one. So, in fact, we're pretty much in line with, hopefully, with where we thought we would be, um, which is good news in this t economy with the constant threat of lessened revenue. Um, but time will tell. See what happens over the summer and the fall. Um, the Pine Plains School District elections, I'm sure everybody knows, were held. In Stanford, only 354 people voted. Not very many. Um, but they passed the budget by eight votes, and they passed the transportation proposition to buy buses um, by ten votes. And they passed generally in the in the entire district. Um, the supervisors and mayors. Of